right, what is up? Victory Game here, and in this episode, I will be doing a little bit something different. Um, my recording setup is different than before. You may be able to tell. I do not know where my microphone went, so I've had to haul out my computer and do all this crazy stuff. But look at this car. The camber in the back. This skyline is so beautiful. I have always liked skylines, but... This car looks so good. Sounds so good as well. Man, that's crazy. Where is my remote? Uh, I need to turn up the volume. That's a beautiful car. I I just let's see what else is here. Uh. It doesn't sound that good. <laughs> so GTI and Alpha noob. Oh, it's a nice Bel Air. Fiat. Ooh, a fair lady. Whatever. Let's just leave. We can go. Oh, they're playing soccer. <laughs> soccer, soccer. Look at this car. Oh man, so beautiful. Let's just do the launch from stop. This thing's a spaceship. Let's see where our race is, and we can go get that done. It's a cross-country race, and I will be not... I will be not... I will not be taking the long way. Let's get on this highway. I don't know how you're supposed to do that, but... How are you supposed to get on the highway from here? I have no clue. Skills. Okay, yeah, yeah it is. Alright, let's get this thing started. In the skyline. We are looking at 760 horsepower. Look at that thing. That's a beautiful car. I love it. We also have this little Fiat thingy, and this beastly Alpha. That's nothing compared to the Skyline, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, this would have been a l really low class if it weren't for those tires. There's some nice tires on this car. But this is event 4 out of 4. I didn't realize we already did the first 3. Look at that Corvette. Alright, so we are here at our fourth race. Let's get ready to rumble. Ah! I, I forgot to tune it. Dang it, the springs needed to be... I needed to raise the car, and I needed to change the gear ratios, but... Whatever, it's all cool, Bill Meringing past. Coming back in, downshifting... The huge, huge pass there. 
And I always may need to make sure I'm shifting late, but I'm shifting way too late. This thing just flies through its gears. Did I miss that? How did I not miss that? Ah, that's a cliff. Okay, first rewind. I don't know if, that, if that's including the, um, if I, like, don't go back enough. Ah, flying. But it is going to be hard not to use more. That is, that's our second one down. Oh, man. See, like, I think I, that doesn't count as our third. I don't think it should. Because it's cheats. Bam! Okay, I'm definitely not gonna do the, um, no rewinding on the rally courses. That's our last one right there. Just because there is so much, uh, to do. And in cars like this, like, if I was in the Raptor, this is no problem. Like, I could seriously fly through this. Literally. <laughs> but, yeah, because I'm in... A streetcar. I just cheated. Because I'm in a streetcar, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> oh, tarmac. We just lost all steering. Okay, I don't... Don't worry, I didn't say anything about, um... Rewinds. Totally didn't say anything about it. Okay, look at the body roll in that car. And I'm just like super stiff sliding around the corner. He's just rolling around all casually. Oh man, it wants to pull out of the corner, but it's just not right. I can't wait till four is a six. I thought this game was awesome. That game is going to be so much better than this. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Forza 6 is going to be amazing. Not only because its mascot is the new Ford GT, but... Oh, that's a odd corner. But also because new cars, new kits, like body kits, that's really going to be awesome. But, um, just the racing, I didn't play Forza 5, so... I play- I had Forza 4, I actually still do have Forza 4. But, Forza 6 just seems like it's gonna be so much better than Forza 4, obviously. And Ben, your voice is still broken. And I took the wrong road. But what I really want to do... <coughs> I'm doing that on purpose. Ah, what I really want to do is m take a foreign car, or not necessarily a foreign car, but I want to make a drag car, right? I watch Street Outlaws, right? Who doesn't? Most people do. No offense if you don't. Just it's a thing that a lot of people do. And I kind of want to build a drag car. Now that's not gonna happen until the end of the series, but. Let's see what we can do. We have a bus. Okay. This bus is going to be used this episode. Let's get into this bus. I'm super excited. Now, I, n I remember watching one of Tomcat's videos and making it some super sleeper car. But I don't really want to do that. I just want to keep it chill. No. It's, it's going to be completely hot rodded. Not necessarily a sleeper van, but I definitely want to drop it. Let's get some interior in here. Oh, we can't see the back. That thing is terribly slow. Terribly slow. It's actually not that bad. But... I might have to fa- oh, that's a nice R8. And an LFA. Might have to fast travel back. Speaking 
of R8s and LFAs and cars in general. I went to Cars and Coffee, as you guys know, because I uploaded the video of me at Cars and Coffee, my second video of that. And, uh, P1, that was really awesome. And later, apparently another 12C came, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, let's see, start with Arrow on this van. We have an ugly little splitter and nothing. What the heck? That looks so bad. We're gonna keep the bumper on. Wait, is the... Ah, oh, it's adjustable. Okay, we might have to get that, depending on our arrow. Oh my goodness. That is so... I'm going with the wing, but that would be pretty hilarious if we got that giant roof rack. I'm gonna keep the bumpers on. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but I think it's necessary. And then engine swaps. Three engine swaps, not including stock. A hundred. D100. That is so sad. So sad. Okay, let's let's go to the two liter, because that's 12,000. We're like tripling the power. Or not the power, but here, let's actually look at the power. Okay. We're more than tripling the power. We're almost multiplying it by five. I don't... Wait. Whoa. whoa, whoa. All-wheel drive? No. That's not going to happen. We can go with a turbo option. Or a supercharged option. Skin tires. And then we've got the big tires. We are also going for looks on this thing, as we do with all the builds, so we can't have those skinny things on. We Wait, maybe I should make this the drag van. That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? To the Batmobile, let's go! Okay, there are no wheels that fit my liking, so I'm just gonna keep them stock. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we have to change them if we want bigger rims. I'm I'm actually thinking about these. Um, I'm gonna go with these American Racing, just the first option. They're pretty hideous, but um, they look alright on this car. Oh my goodness. 20 inch? What are they stock? 15? So we got 16s, 17s, 18s, 19s, 20s, and 21s? And you get 21s. There is no tire on that. I'm thinking 16s. 16s in the front, most likely 17s in the back. 16, yeah, 17's in the back. Uh, I just moaned. <laughs> that is looking weird. Okay, and now let's upgrade the suspension and drive train all the way. Let's go! Okay. Now, all of you have probably been waiting to see this happen. Here's our van. Here's the van with street. Here's the van with sport and race. This thing looks sweet. I mean, just look at that thing dropped. It's a beast. time what we have all been waiting for all right so we are sitting on 212 my goal is like three maybe 400 horsepower out of this thing but I want to keep it low I don't want to get the horsepower up too high because that means we are going to be shooting out of C class and like a B or not a what's next 
not D. Is it A? Oh, yeah, B. Okay, I'm thinking maybe top of B class would be good. But we are almost at 400. Okay, my prediction was, like, just right. Okay. That's, that's what this is. B! Kind of weird. Oh, my confirmed. Okay. Alright, I am here in the van just to do a little bit of testing. You can see we got a roll cage and, um... Looks really good dropped. Oh man. Okay, I think we're gonna need at least a street transmission. Because its transmission is really bad. Okay, well, I just clicked the, uh... Road trip, so... And, whoa, the colors are all off. It's weird. So I guess we're gonna have to drive the super van down there. And I will see you guys there. Let's test this thing's top speed. 40! 141! We're passing the Porsche! 142! 143! Oh man! 144! In the bus! That's not even turboed! The triple six bus does 144! 145! 146! Beep! Yeah! We were rubbing the ground! Look at that thing! Oh man, that's hilarious. The braking? That looks so bad. Man, time for a wheel spin! Oh man, I see a red car and a blue car. Oh! One away from the WRX. That would have been sweet. Are those clothes in the back? This McLaren thinks he's better than me. Oh man! We get ahead of it! Can we take the Porsche? Ah! Yay! McLaren go. Just turn around. Anyways, we are here! In Sister Roll. And this will. I hope this isn't our best lap, because we are not doing so good. Oh, I remember this. This is the track with the uh, GT86. Yes, I remember. Okay. Yeah, I remember not having enough power on this uh, pulling out right there and losing, and then... Yeah. So I had to go and give it more power and stuff. Ah! Uh. 
the GT86 was a lot nicer than this, but this actually is performing probably very similar. Slide, 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 slide. Ah, uh, no, not slide like that. Come on. Much smoother gear shifts. Ah, oh, we miss it. Hey, it's Herbie. It is Herbie. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. No, no, I threw it in the reverse. Shift down for first. We're going racing line. All in. Yes! The transit! The transit! No! Fordvans.co.uk Be sure to check that out, kids. Beep! Come on. You can beat a transit. I don't care if it's the best SWAT van ever. You've just got to do it. No. This isn't- no. This isn't gonna happen. It won't end like this. It won't. Yes! Yes! Go, 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 go! No! No! Oh, I wanna die. The tire almost looks flat. Look at it. <laughs> and the driver. That's hilarious. Oh man. Look at the driver. He's looking straight ahead and the, the wheels. Oh, that's beautiful. The side of the van, on the other hand, is pretty bad. Really is. Alright, so to finish off this episode, we will be doing something a little bit different. And that is taking on this beetle that we just lost to in the race. It is a highly skilled driver. So, we will be seeing if our new car can keep up with it. Which we are obviously not doing such a good job at yet. But a pro driver, let's see, A-Class. He has an advantage. That's okay. And I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. No! Get out of my way, car. I'm trying to race here. Oh man. We're pulling him. We're pulling him. Yes! No! <laughs> Get out of our way. Ah. Man, we flew past him like a paper airplane. We were soaring. Hopefully he hits some of this head-on traffic, because we're going to be losing it around these corners. Oh, or losing it on the straight. Where are we racing to, anyways? Just the end up here. Go. Come on, Van. You're hauling the beetle. Just a little more. I know it's a big and confusing world out there, but you can do it. Is that a clock on the dash? Okay, then. 45k! Leaving us with 
$350,000 overall. That'll be plenty of money to build our next car. And we got a wristband at level 30. Sweet way to finish off this episode. But let's spin for a prize. It is the second wheel spin of the day. 100k! What? 100k! Okay, then. That is our 12th one. How much money do we have now? 450k. Alright, so thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, and more will be coming your way. But that is a crazy picture. What? That's gotta be the thumbnail. In 150 cc, with no grip in the rain, it's not a good idea. Drifting is crucial on this course. It's so small and tiny. Small and up. Oh. Wait, we can.